Welcome to today's lecture where we're going to discuss photosynthesis. The purpose of photosynthesis, what happens in photosynthesis, how it happens, and where within the cell it actually happens. So one of the things we've already talked about is the fact that photosynthesis is used to actually store energy. It's actually used to take that energy and put it into a food source for other organisms and the um, and the organisms that actually go through photosynthesis also. So all organisms on Earth need some type of food. Those that go through photosynthesis actually take the energy from the sun and put it into a food source. So let's start by talking about the different types of organisms that we have here on Earth. We're going to break down the words briefly. So let's take a, take a look at the uh, prefix auto. The prefix auto means self. The prefix hetero means different. And the suffix trophic actually means to deal with food. So if I take the term autotrophic, I'm looking at self and dealing with food. So these types of organisms who are autotrophic actually take and create their own food source. They take the energy from the sun they create that food source so that they can then use it, okay? But they also store it. Those organisms that take and go through photosynthesis actually store it. And as they do that, they actually are storing that energy for heterotrophs. Hetero meaning different, trophic dealing with food. So a different food source. Organisms that actually have to get their food from a different food source. They can't actually take and create that food. So. Autotrophs are self-feeding, those are the organisms that go through photosynthesis, and those that have to eat to get their energy are called heterotrophs. Okay, so autotrophs self-feeding, heterotrophs have to eat their food. So let's take a look at the equation of photosynthesis. This is a balanced equation here, meaning that all of the um, atoms that are used at the beginning of the equation are then again rearranged and used at the end of the equation. Equations have to be balanced. You can't create or destroy atoms. So because of that, we have to start with a balanced equation. So let's start here. We have 6 CO2. So we need carbon dioxide and 6 H2O. Plants also need water. Think about what happens. If they don't have carbon dioxide or if they don't have water, they are going to wilt. They're not going to be able to survive. So plants need carbon dioxide and water. They take that carbon dioxide and water, and through the energy of the sunlight, that energy actually breaks apart the bonds of these two atoms. As it breaks apart those bonds, that's the energy used for the chemical reaction, it then creates a product. The products that it creates are, are glucose, C6H12O6, which we've talked about before. This is a carbohydrate. So we produce glucose, and then we produce six O2 molecules, so six oxygen molecules. So the equation for photosynthesis is 6CO2 plus 6H2O along with sunlight produces C6H12O6 plus 6O2. Okay? So plants need carbon dioxide and water and they produce glucose and oxygen. All right, so let's take a look at a glucose molecule here for a second. This should look somewhat familiar to you from looking at, um, at carbohydrate molecules. We have six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygens. So we have that one to two to one ratio, okay? We have that carbon plus water, carbohydrates. So we have that, those molecules here. Now one of the things you might notice is that there are a lot of bonds holding all this molecule together, okay? Those bonds are important because the energy from the sunlight, some of it is used to break the bonds between carbon dioxide and water, but the rest of it actually gets stored. And that energy that gets stored actually gets stored in the bonds of the glucose molecule. So it's stored between those molecules, okay? And later we'll talk about the fact that when we break those bonds, it actually releases the energy and we can use it then. So the energy from the sun gets stored within these glucose molecules and it's stored in the bonds of the glucose molecules. Now, let's take a look at where this happens within the cell 
and what actually happens with um, the energy that we use. So it happens within the chloroplast. Okay, The chloroplast of the cell is where um, this happens in. So we're looking mostly at plant cells. Okay, We have a chloroplast molecule here, and you've probably seen this before. Okay, We also have something called a thylakoid. The thylakoids are these disc shapes in here, and those actually help to go through photosynthesis also. Okay. Right now we're not going to go into the specifics, but you do need to identify, be able to identify the thylakoids, which are the disc shapes, and the chloroplast is the entire structure. Now there's another piece called chlorophyll, and a chlorophyll molecule is actually just a pigment. Okay? It's a coloring. And what that does is it allows the um, chloroplast to actually absorb some certain wavelengths of light but reflect other wavelengths of light. Now, the reason we see something as a specific color, the reason we see something as a specific color is because those wavelengths are what's being reflected into our eyes. So we see the chloroplast as green because the chlorophyll pigment is reflecting the green wavelengths into the eye. So we are seeing it, it's getting into our eyes, and that's why it appears green. So the green is reflected. The other wavelengths of light are absorbed, okay? And I don't have yellow, I don't have a yellow marker, so I couldn't use a yellow marker to show you. But all the rest of the wavelengths of light are mostly being absorbed into this. So the energy that the chloroplast uses to take and go through photosynthesis comes from certain wavelengths of light, but not the green wavelengths of light. So the red, orange, yellow, blue, and um, violet, and indigo, um, if we're using the Roy G. Biv, all of those wavelengths of light are actually used to um, as energy for the cell. So, in wrapping it up, photosynthesis happens in organisms which are called autotrophs. They are self-feeding. They take and produce a, um, happen inside the chloroplast. The chlorophyll actually absorbs certain wavelengths of light. And the uh, equation for photosynthesis is six carbon dioxide plus six water along with sunlight produces a glucose molecule and six oxygen molecules.